Hey, welcome back. Let's build some router bit storage. That's a wrap. My current router bit storage is less than ideal. I can fit all my bits in there with the router, but it is a little tricky and when you open it, they might fall out. So I thought I would take advantage of these two spots on the back side of the router table. I was hoping to build something out of two by four, but it turns out it is just over three and a half inches. I found a scrap of two by six and the first stop is to the table saw. I want to square up the edges so the first pass is just going to take a little bit off of one edge and then I will flip it over, rip it down to the final width. Got a few more cuts that I'm gonna make at the table saw, but I think next up I'll go ahead and chop it to length at the miter saw. <sighs> I always like to pull the blade down and line it up by eye with my pencil mark and then make the cut. Back at the table saw, I want to shape it to have two different levels, looking like bleachers maybe. Uh, but the first cut is actually to make it a little bit narrower. An inch and a half is too much for what I want to do. So I'm going to bring it down to an inch and a quarter. Now I'm ready to drill out the holes for the router bit shanks to sit down in. All of mine are quarter inch shanks and I had to check a couple different types of drill bits but I ended up finding this paddle bit that must be just a little more than a quarter inch because drilling this hole the router bit is able to sit down very easily in it. Other quarter inch drill bits it was a very tight fit and that's not really what you're looking for. Well, that's going to do it for this project. I have room for 20 bits, and right now I've got 12. Also, I made up these really simple covers, just a little board to keep it in place. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a great week, and as always, get out there and make some sawdust.